great transition. Speaking <laughs> of the Attorney General, he's here with us in studio this morning. Peter Kilmartin, a uh, very busy man. We have a whole list of things to get to this morning. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you again for having me. And I have to give a shout out to Michelle. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's right. Danielle <laughs> shouldn't have today off. You should. <laughs> That's right. I know. She's got no pull around here. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's talk about uh, your, in tonight, let's, this call 12 for action special that we're doing. Tell us more about uh, your involvement. And uh, you're one of the attorney generals that has called for special counsel after the firing of James Comey. Right. Uh, well, tonight, the uh, yeah. call for action is a, a great partnership that we have with Channel 12 and your consumer folks who do such a great job and we're going to have our head of con consumer unit here taking calls, answering questions, helping uh, all of your viewers with problems they have and hopefully helping solve that problem and head people down the right direction. So right. I think it's a great public service and we're happy to be a part of it. I combine those two questions. There's so many <laughs> things on here. Now let's talk about uh, James Comey and that whole situation. Right. Your thoughts? Uh, obviously that is just changing daily. Right. Um, but it's been so troubling and at such a level that myself and many other attorneys general uh, and now both Democrat and Republicans across this country are saying we need a special prosecutor. We need to look into what exactly has happened at the FBI, what's happened with uh, whatever ties there are or are not with Russia and we need an independent voice that we have faith in that isn't controlled by the White House and frankly isn't controlled by Congress. An independent investigator to look at it and then decide is there a problem? Is there an issue? What is it? And where do we go from here? Somebody that doesn't have a dog in the fight, so exactly. to say, that can get to the bottom of this. Tell us about the progress of the uh, revenge porn bill that you've been working on. Uh, we just had hearings on it in, in the Senate recently. Uh, it's moving forward. We're very optimistic uh, that this year we will have a, a bill passed and signed by the governor. And the big part about this, like we've discussed before, right. it's really about protecting those victims, especially young victims who uh, are this is put upon. So we're cautiously optimistic. All right, healthcare, of course, a huge topic every day. Medicaid fraud protection efforts, what's the latest on that? Well, uh, myself and attorneys general from around the country are actually trying to expand our powers so we can investigate fraud and abuse in the private setting. Right now we can do it in nursing homes and public settings, but we want to expand that effort. The good news too for Rhode Island on this front is we will be one of the first states in the country. Uh, we will be soon going out for an RFP that we can do some data mining and we can root out even more fraud and abuse. So we're going to be a leader in the country and I'm, I'm very proud of that and we're, we're taking the proper steps and taking it slow to make yeah. sure we get it right. We want people to look at Rhode Island and say they did it right, not don't do it the way they did it. Yes, exactly. And how about finally the call for drug settlement monies return to states? Right. This is about Medicare Part D yeah. and uh, the states have many millions of dollars invested in that. Uh, there's fraud and abuse on that the, uh, with the pharmaceutical companies. M billions of dollars collectively right. that uh, are taken in and go back to the federal government. All the states are saying we are vested in this. We invest state taxpayer dollars into this. We do our fair share of those funds when they come back. All right, all important topics. Thanks all so much for coming in this morning. Really Thanks appreciate it. And if you want to see this interview again in its entirety, of course, it'll be posted on our website, WPRI.com, later today.